hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our code igniter 3 image crud operation so guys now let's in this video we'll be doing about how to fetch the stored images inside your folder and from data from your database what you have stored it right so guys, let's get started so now i just want to create a simple url called products okay so this will be my url and on this page i am going to design a page with, with the table format so guys let's get started with it so now uh, let me close all these files so we don't require right now okay so let's close this and just open the route page okay inside your config folder route.php and let's create a route for it route route where i am going to paste the url product and with the get method we are going to fetch the data and now over here we will call the controller okay so we have already the controller created in previous video so let's paste that controller and instead of create function we will give index function okay so let's go to our product controller so let's go to our controller inside front end folder i have a product controller done and below this we have to create a function with the name of index so let me just copy paste this thing because we have to load the page and now let's copy this index function and paste over here we need the header and footer so please include that as per your requirement in your project and this will be your index page so let's copy this and go to a products folder and create a page so now let me click on views and inside this product folder and we have to create a new file with the name index.php okay done so now guys i'll just show you something hs has and let's get back and refresh this page so you can see the output hs has so guys i have already included the bootstrap so let me just type and finish the designing part so let's type container with the row a simple column md12 and here i am going to use the card where i will give this card m margin top where card header header in this h4 tag will tell image image crud code igniter 3.x of any version okay and simple now guys uh, we will tell that a tag where add products this in previous only we have done with that adding products image so let's just copy that url and paste that base underscore url function inside this we'll call that page so let me just show you that if i give forward slash add you can find the page okay so let's get back and yep let's paste that and give a class for it so let's assign a class where btn btn primary with float right r i g h t right let me close that side minimal and now guys i'll just show you the output of it so this is how we are getting an output now we will design the table as simple so let's finish it soon with that so card body table dot table dot table border table head table row table heading where you are going to pass id the product name here the description and then as per your database requirement price and product image okay so price and image okay and finally two things which is about edit and delete button simple and now guys what we have to do not table it's t head just make sure you are giving correct table body and inside this table body same data we have to repeat with it okay not this oops just remove that and let's type it 
with the table data okay td will come over here not table head okay so now let's paste one dummy so let's just replace with that and over here inside this a tag i'm going to call and let me just copy the same thing the url so right now we don't have url so we'll be creating that edit forward slash where you'll be placing its id and then for edit we will tell as info which will be edit or let's create it success okay and let's copy this and paste over here done danger button sm copy paste set let's get back and reload the page so you can get this one design format right so guys let us remove this float right please remove that and you can see that it's in over here so guys now let's fetch the data from the database over here okay so now let's get started okay so this image i'll just place it at the beginning and let's include the image tag over here so img and inside this i'll just alt tag product image and for height we will create a default height 50 pixel and width i'm going to use 50 pixel over here and if there is no image it will show this alt tag so let's refresh okay cool so guys now let's get started to fetch the record so let's move to our code to our controller over here you are going to call your model so product model let me just call that products is equal to new key and your model and from here product i'm going to send the data so let's send it before sending that we have to call product products of get products function inside this function you have to go to your product model so let's move to that model over here okay let's go to a model folder inside that we have a product model and let's type that function so okay so let me just paste that i have already typed it and this is my product table name and this is a get function and get function by the query builder of your code igniter and then it will result the output of it by this function so let's get back over here and we have to store in some variable right so let's call that data of your array okay and this data will be passed how will you pass over here so let's give comma and space and then pass the data as simple so i'll just give a space so there will be no confusion about it so let's take this data not this data inside this data you have array so let's copy this product and go back to our index page and over here with the help of for each loop we will loop the data so let me just php for each function dollar products as dollar item okay and this item will be shown so let's give colon see this is semicolon i mean this is colon not semicolon okay and this is a below where php start php end and here i'm going to type end for each give semicolon here okay this will be semicolon and this is colon done so now let's copy this and call the id first php is equal to is for echoing shortcut method let's call that id over here save it and let's check the output for it so we have only two records one and two right now let's refresh okay it's telling that undefined method get products so let's get back check to our controller get products let's copy this and go to the product model and paste over here products that's it set up and now let's reload it so guys you can see that one and two data has come the so same way you have to fetch all the record name description price and product image so let's get back to our code and copy this and paste 
So first let us call all the things. Okay. As per is this name description and the price P R I C price and this dollar item of ID with this edit one ID. Okay, so let's paste that. Let me just give one dot and concatenate those things. So for this delete one, we have to call this delete variable pass this and concatenate the ID. And now for this one, you have to fetch the data. So guys, you can use the base URL is equal to where you can use base underscore URL to fetch the record inside single quote. I am going to paste that images folder where forward slash and concatenate the dollar item of product image. Okay. So this is the folder where it is actually in your root directory. So this is the image folder where you are storing the images and then the product images. And now over here you can see that product image name is there. Let me just refresh. We can see the correct output. Cool. So you can see the output design guys. How cool it is looking. So finally we have fetched the data from your database with the image. Let me just add one more product called shirt and shirt description let's add price 500 rupees and let's choose the image for it so let me just go to it downloads okay so let me just select this sh shirt and let me click on it open and so guys let me click to save so i have clicked on save product inserted successfully and it came to this page because insertion was that side so let me go back you can see that product shirt is coming over here right so guys successfully we have inserted and fetched the data over here so guys thank you for watching this video in next video we'll learn about editing and deleting thing okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share